shoes on because we're heading over to Super Deluxe to meet Chantel Martin from London with Daisha Hunter only here on Art in Hidden Places. Welcome to Art in Hidden Places. I'm your host, Daisha Hunter. We're here at Super Deluxe in Roppongi, Tokyo, Japan. Super Deluxe is a creative ballroom space where DJs, artists, and performers come to show their skills. We'll be interviewing Chantel Martin, one of the most sought after visual artists in Tokyo. We're going behind the scenes with her today at Super Deluxe. Stay tuned, we have a great show for you. Brandon, who's actually one of the DJs mixing tonight. How do you know Chantel? Um, I, I met Chantel at uh, an event somewhere at, I think at Le Baron de Paris. She was doing some live drawing there and I thought it was like one of the dopest things that I've seen. So I made it a point to introduce myself and uh, she's DJed at one of my events that I've had in Tokyo. And uh, so I'm just glad to be here to support her tonight. And VJing. You're here now in Japan, but she's actually from England. Mm. Yeah, I'm from London. Um, basically, VJing is something I started in Japan. So I moved to Japan two years ago and then I started VJing just over one year ago. And my style, you know, slowly, slowly, slowly developing. How is VJing different than just painting to music or drawing to music? Mm. See, someone's just live painting. It just feels like they're, you know, they're on the side, they're just live painting. But VJing, it's on a screen, it's on a TV screen. And when we see that, we instantly connect any sound or noise around us to that visual. So it's kind of, you know, it's a very strong link between the, the sound and the music. So what tools do you use to actually get your work projected onto the walls? And um, basically I'm drawing on the, the tablet, on the tablet, that goes into my computer and that goes onto the projector. Mm. That sounds like fun. Well, I know that at these events you've been doing some collaborations with artists and you've recently done a collaboration with Hiroaki Koshiba mm. where you both had two different canvases and you would start drawing, he was painting. Yeah. How did that come about? Mm. Um, so I went to this thing um, called Paul's Talk and this is once a month and the guy called Hiroaki Koshiba, he was given a, a little speech about his exhibition that was ongoing in the cafe and at the end of his speech, he came up to me and he said, oh, Chantel, I'm a fan. You know, I've got your T-shirt. I watch your videos. You know, I love your work. And then I'm like, well, you know, why don't we collaborate together? And he was like, oh, you know, this is my dream come true. And then, you know, that's how that happened. So can you tell us about this event tonight? It's on the march, your event. How did it come about? So on the march, it first started, I did um, uh, a T-shirt for Tokyo Art Beat. They choose five artists each year to do a T-shirt. And I did that last year, and the drawing that I used to do this t-shirt, I released that to everyone on the Creative Commons license, so there's no copyright, you know, they can download it and do what they want with it. And I thought I'd go one step further, so I, I released it, and I asked people to remix it. I asked them to cut it, colour it, paste it, turn it into fashion, do whatever they want with it. And um, I had, you know, a very amazing result from it, and many, many astounding kind of remixes. So tonight is to celebrate those remixes, to show them off, and, you know, to have fun, basically. Well, I've heard that you do have a DVD coming out. Mm -hmm. What is that? Um, so I'm working on a DVD now, and it's going to be released on the Light Ribbon Visuals album um, label. And basically, it's going to be released this year in October, and it's a collection of you know my favorite music and visuals that I've made to these tracks. I heard that you had not only your work shown on walls and projector screens but actually on the large screens, I mean this is bigger than Times Square, <laughs> Shibuya Crossing, you mm -hmm. had your work there. How did that start? How did that happen? When did you get that opportunity? Well that was for last year Design Week and it was for a whole week and Design Tide they commissioned me to do a 15 second movie on the theme of play 
And so I did that and it was actually shown in Shibuya and Harajuku Crossing for the whole of Design Week, you know, once an hour. So yeah, that was really nice to actually see my stuff outside in the open and on the big screen. So that was really nice. So what projects do you have coming up in the near future that you can tell us about? Well, I'm going to be back on the Shibuya screens, but hopefully more than one now. So I'm working on a little movie now, which will be shown on the Shibuya screens, so maybe six or seven screens. What are some creative things that you want to do or you want to, I'll say, draw on that you haven't yet? I want to try stuff that people haven't done yet. You know, I want to push a new genre of illustration and VJing and, you know, producing visuals. And, you know, I want to do that in Tokyo and in London and wherever I can, basically. What would you tell up-and-coming artists who want to start VJing or do live events like we're at now? What can they do? What type of practice will they need or classes should they take? Mm. You know, the best practice is to practice but in the live situation. And it's really nice now, um, you know, VJing in the style that I do, um, drawing with my, my Wacom tablet or actually drawing with my hand. It's a new genre and there's more and more people doing it, you know, every week and every month. Um, you know, basically just to encourage them and just to draw live as much as you can. You know, that's the only practice that you can have. So where do you see yourself settling in the future with VJing? And I believe you're going to be one of the pioneers of that <laughs> because you are right now. Um, you know, I, what I see in the future is just more variety and hopefully, you know, bigger screens as well. So mm. is there anything else you want the people to know about you before we go? Um, not really, just, you know, check my website, check my work and, you know, I hope it's an inspiration or I hope, you know, you find something in there that pushes you as an artist or pushes you in your creative life. Thank you for joining us on Art in Hidden Places. Check her out, ChantelMartin.com. We wish you all of the best drawing on Tokyo's walls. From On the March with Chantel Martin, we're here at Super Deluxe where your space is made creative. I'm your host, Daisha Hunter, and thank you for watching Art in Hidden Places. Well, that about wraps it up for today's show on Art in Hidden Places. I'm your host, Albert Graves, and I hope you've enjoyed the ride as much as I have. We'll be here next time also to explore more talent for you right in this city, Tokyo, Japan. Till then, hope you can join us, and we'll be seeing you next time for more Art in Hidden Places. <laughs>